Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk a little bit about this. Uh, what I've been experimenting with is putting a video camera uh, into the uh, laser to watch it so I don't have to actually see or look in to see what's happening. So what I've done is I've kind of prototyped with this um, webcam I've got for like five bucks. It's just a uh, 640 by 480 and I've been using this for time-lapse uh, 3D printing and I decided well I'm gonna run it in through the wire the hole in the side and just have it set up to watch and so I have just taped it in place for the time being and then I closed the lid now the lid stays open a little bit but because of the uh, uh, fume extraction it, it sucks air through here so it's not a problem my, my concept is what I'm going to do uh, is probably put magnets on the back so it can stick on the inside here or to this rail, something of the like, so I can move it around. Um, I've even kind of kicked around even putting it on the, the head of the laser so it moves with the laser. Let me know what you guys think below if that's a good idea or not. Uh, or maybe create some cool uh, time-lapse videos of it cutting things out or is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, because I do have air assist, so the air would clear, clear out the smoke or whatever from, you know, following the lens. But anyways... What I want to do is I want to cut over to the computer now and kind of show you what it looks like on that. Okay, so here we are at the computer now. So I've got this set up running uh, my uh, G-code sender. This is a great G-code sender, by the way. Um, one of these days I'm going to do a review on the different G-code senders, but I really enjoy this one. Uh, you know, it's Windows-based. But anyways, that being here and there. Well, actually, it's a little bit here and there because one of the things that this does is has an input um, somewhere down here uh, see webcam and if I turn this on I can input the URL for a web based IP cam now I may do that and what, what I actually may do is set up a Raspberry Pi on that camera uh, but right now it's just running into this and what I'm doing is I'm running the camera program uh, you know just a Windows 10 camera program and you can see it there so I can watch the head you know as it moves so um, let me just try to move this over here and try to move this up whoops um, back here and then uh, when I do this it's going to probably move um, but anyways I could see it move in there if it, since I switched screens it moved over but as it's running I can sit here and I can watch it away from the machine without having to look directly into the machine so I think that's pretty cool and then the reason I'm going to go with the magnets on the back side of it is that way I can move it around depending upon the size of my material in the machine rather than just bolting it or gluing it or doing something like that so I really like the concept and, and the range of view is actually pretty good that you see here so it, it's about two-thirds of the bed so it's about two-thirds of the bed in, in each direction. And I have a crosshair set up um, just for grins and giggles. Uh, so anyways, uh, just figured I'd share this with you because, uh, you know, one thing with lasers, you cannot be too safe. And the fact of not having your eyes looking in there, even though you're wearing glasses, even though there's that acrylic cover, um, you know, there's still, this is, is far safer. And you can see what's going on. You can deactivate it from here. Um, you know, mine I've converted over to G code, so I'm not running the Moshi Draw. But again, you could do the same thing with the Moshi Draw in the background and have the laser uh, watch what the laser's doing. So, anyways, hey, hopefully you found this a good safety tip. And uh, hey, give it a thumbs up, cheers, subscribe. See you in the next video. Click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.